Hello, crafty friends. Carrie here. Today we are going to be making an altered file folder. So for this project, you will need a file folder. And you're going to need whatever you want to use to alter it. I'm going to use some tissue paper. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use some matte Mod Podge. You could use any kind of glue or um, medium that you want. Um, and basically I'm just going to spread this across the file folder on the one side using a foam brush because that's my what I prefer and I'm going to get this entire um, half of the folder covered and then I will take my tissue paper and lay it down and smooth it out with my hands and then I will get my bone folder just kind of pull it across gently to try to make sure I don't have any air pockets anywhere. Once I have this moved out, pull that back on the other side and then I'm going to come in here and we're going to put down more Mod Podge or whatever medium that you're using. And by the way, I like using matte Mod Podge because it's not sticky when it dries. I know some people have complained about that. I think that's because they're probably using the uh, gloss Mod Podge. But I do live in a very humid area. I'm in Florida and I have no problem with this being sticky when it's dry. And so it's really my preference for um, what I use to stick things down when I'm work doing paper crafts. Okay. Okay. Get this smoothed down. And then I'm going to add some Mod Podge on the back lip. Because I'm going to fold this piece of tissue paper over to cover the tab area. And then I will take my scissors and I will just trim off the excess tissue paper from all the edges. Following the shape of the folder. And then I will um, also do that on that back lip because I want the tab um, to show. So I just carefully trim all of this off, following the shape of the folder. Now I am going to take my paper trimmer and just make sure that I have the sides straight, because I think I messed up a little bit with the scissors when I was doing it. I'm going to check for any areas where my tissue paper is not stuck down and I will add in some Mod Podge and make sure I'm getting them stuck down good. Now, once I'm done with that, I'm going to take the Distressing from Tim Holtz. This is Walnut Stain. I'm going to ink up my uh, Distress Ink Dabber. And I'll stick a piece of paper in there. Now I am going to do the edges of the folders if anything like this happens, like what you're seeing here, just go back in with a little Mod Podge and get it stuck down. Because you do want all of your edges to be down. And I'm just going to do this going across all of my edges. On this file folder on the front. And now I'm going to do the fold on the bottom. Do it from both sides. And then where there are those score marks um, on the file folder, I am going to fold on those. And I'm going to use Distress Ink on those. I want this folder to have kind of a used, vintage -y look. Okay, then I'm going to come around, finish off the edges on the back side on the tab. Mm. 
And once I get all of this done, I'm going to um, start adding in some other elements. So first I'm going to use this pigment, this black pigment ink. And I'm going to ink up this butterfly stamp. And I'm not going to do a full image print. This is a good size butterfly, as you can see. But I'm just going to put bits and pieces of it around on my file folder. I want to add interest. It's not really so much that I want a full butterfly. I just I want to have some elements here to add interest and a little kind of texture look. And once I get done with the butterfly, I am going to take this pink. It's, this is actually to press into uh, polymer clays, but I'm going to use it like an ink stamp, um, an ink pad. What do you call it? A stamp. Um, I'm just going to make sure to get all of the flowers inked up on here. And once I have a good coat, here again, I'm not going to do a full stamp. I'm just going to come around, pressing it down into different places. Um, this is really to add interest and just some more elements for the distressed look. Now on the back, I'm going to use this stamp. Um, and that's all I was going to do originally, but you'll see in the finished project that I did go back in and add some butterflies. I tried using um, my press, and well, I don't think it's all, you know. So when I get up again, I just end up using my hands to press it. And I actually think it came out a little bit better that way. And here again, I'm just going to come. I want to cover the entire back of the folder. Now, you could be doing this with any kind of stamp you wanted. I am going to take a minute and clean this um, off since this is not actually um, a stamp. I don't want to get it messed up with the ink. I'm going to just wipe out my ink. Okay. Now I want to add some other elements. I'm going to start with this um, piece of a bag that has um, what looks to be um, vintage ads. And I'm tearing out a piece and I will use my distress ink to kind of distress the edges. And actually... As you're going to see in a minute, I decide I don't like that one. Okay. So once I get this done and I start kind of moving around on the folder, I decide that that's actually bigger than I want. So I tear out a smaller ad. And I come in and do the same thing with it. Distress all the edges. And I decide I do kind of like it. So I add Mod Podge to the back. And come in and stick it down. Burnish it down with my bone folder. And then I'm going to take this book page. And I'm going to tear out a piece of it. And I will be doing basically the same technique on it as I did with the ad. I'm going to take this and I decided to use some uh, walnut spray, um, distress spray on it. And then I take the um, distress ink and I go around the edges. And I use some Mod Podge to stick it down. And then I'm going to take this um, little like bird faux postcardy thing. 
I'm going to rough it up using this sandpaper block, which is from the Dollar Tree, by the way. I'm also going to bend this. Um, I really get it kind of roughed up to have it have a kind of vintage look. I'm going to use my Distress Ink to do the edges. And I also will do where I folded it at. And then I will wipe off some excess. And add in the Mod Podge. And stick that down. Okay, after I get it down, I'm going to come down with a little ink there. And I'm going to take this, uh, well, it's be like a boarding pass or a ticket. Just press it, put some Mod Podge on it. And then I'm going to add that to my file folder. And get it down. Now I'm looking at some lace. And this piece is going to go on the back of my file folder. I'm going to use uh, the tacky glue. And then I'm just going to put this down. Make sure I have it straight. <clears throat> Trim off the excess. And then I decide I'm going to bring it around onto the front of the file folder. I'm just going to pull it up at the edges. You could sew this if you wanted to sew. And I just prefer using um, my tacky glue. Fabri Tac is also good, but I don't have any Fabri Tac, so I'm just using my Aileen's um, tacky. And then once I get this down, I will be looking um, at this piece. And I decide from this that actually I want to cut out one of the pieces and use it as an applique. So I'm just going to take my scissors and trim out a piece that I like. I get this trimmed out. I'm going to use it as an applique right there under the little postcard like thing. Let's get some Mod Podge, put it down, add in a little tacky glue on the edges, and then put the applique down. Come back in, make sure I have all my edges stuck down good. Okay, and I'm going to take this uh, piece of lace off from a wedding dress and add it in. But I feel like it's a little too white, so I'm going to use some of my Distress Spray. Uh, I don't want to spray directly onto it because I don't want it to be really dark. I just don't want it to look new. So I just want to age it up a little bit. Okay. And same thing. I'm going to put some Mod Podge on it, then some onto the folder. A little tacky glue. Get that all down in there. And then I do end up having um, a loose pearl and a loose sequin, which I'm going to use my tacky glue to kind of stick back down. Okay, now I'm going to add lace um, to the bottom from the front side. And I like that lace and I like it with this crochet trim. So that's what I'm going to use for this. 
and I am going to um, use some tacky glue to do the um, edges and get them um, glued down so that they're neat. Checking my measurements there. Make sure I get everything down. And I will be using tacky glue along the bottom to stick it down. And get it in there straight. And once I have that, I'm going to add another bead of glue. I'm going to come in and put down the crochet uh, trim. I'm just going to press it into the glue. I'm going to put a little glue right on the end piece just to make sure it doesn't fray. Okay, it's coming together. Now I'm going to take my crocodile punch. I'm going to use the um, smaller of the punches and punch holes going down the side about an inch or a little or inch and a quarter apart. Okay. I'm going to do the holes on both sides of the folder. I'm going to use these, I will lace them with some ribbon um, to hold the sides of my folders together. Okay, I'm going to use three times the length for the ribbon, and then I'll cut a second piece. Okay, now I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a crisscross lace pattern, kind of like you would lace up tennis shoes or something. done and when I get it done I tie it off in a bow at the top and then I do the other side of the folder doing the same crisscross pattern as making sure my ribbons are straight and not folded or anything okay And once I get this done and tie it off, okay, then I trim the ends neatly, and then we have our completed file folder. And there's the back where you can see I added in some butterfly stamps. I also uh, stamped in some words here. Now, if you like this folder and would like to have me create one for you, feel free to contact me at my email address, and I'd be happy to make one for you. If you would like one like this, with 100 pieces of ephemera added inside for you to have to use in your future projects, all you'll need to do is contact me at my email address, and we can discuss what style and colors you like, and I'd be happy to do one. For the file folder with 100 pieces of ephemera, it would be $15 plus shipping. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you for watching and hope everybody's having a great day.